Hi everyone! I'm so glad that you are joining me here live or on the replay for some fantastic Christmas crafting. You can tell I'm in the spirit. I didn't anticipate matching from head to toe, but I am wearing another color down below. I invited you to wear your pajama pants, so if you are wearing some fantastic pajama pants, please share. Also, I invited you to enjoy a little beverage of choice. I'm having mine out of my favorite cup, and but it's actually cold. Uh, I'm having some eggnog tonight, so cheers! Cheers! Thanks for joining! What are you drinking? What are you wearing? What are you doing to celebrate this amazing, fun time of year? Um, I'm so grateful to be able to craft with you tonight and um, that you're able to join me either live, like I said, or on the replay. Now I'm going to remind you throughout this event that I'm going to be crafting fast, okay? I will be. So for those of you who are watching live, don't fret. You can honestly just catch the replay again for any of the parts that you miss. If you're getting frantic, take a deep breath. That's not what this is about. Take a deep breath and then you can work on the project that you're doing and then skip the next one, do every second one, catch the replay for some of them, but I wanna keep it going so that it keeps it interesting for everyone. And I apologize because I've designed these projects, I've also made them a couple of times, so I kinda of know what I'm doing. So don't feel bad if you don't know what you're doing because this is your first time, right? So um, without any further ado, I'm going to put you down so that you can see what's happening here. There we go. Because the first thing I'm going to talk about is our paper pumpkin kits that we have going on. So this time of year is a little bit tricky for ordering products that are coming from the States. Um, I had an order actually that half arrived yesterday, so the 14th of December that I placed on midnight, <laughs> at midnight on December 1st and I paid expedited shipping, and this is nobody's fault other than maybe FedEx. I'll put it on FedEx, maybe. But um, it went from Utah, then down into Memphis, Tennessee, and I still haven't received my baby boss. <laughs> I paid for expedited shipping, which Stampin' Up! graciously refunded to me, but I'm so excited to get my hands on it, and I wanted to show it to you guys, too. So as soon as I do get it, though, I'm just going to hop on live, it'll be an impromptu thing, maybe I'll give you an hour's notice or something like that, and I'll get to show you what the cute little baby boss looks like. So um, what I'm trying to say is, we don't know how long it's going to take to get products at this time of year. So what we need to rely on for our crafting right now is products that I have in stock. So I can send these products to you, I can mail them to you. Normally it's about $15 to mail one of these anywhere in Canada, um, but I can mail it to you or you can pick it up as early as, well, I mean later tonight if you wanted to from my place in um, South Edmonton. So if you're interested in any of these, I'm showing you lots of product that you can actually get tonight if you want to, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna show you um, is our paper pumpkin from I think two months ago. I haven't received the one from this month yet, otherwise I would show you. But um, this is from a couple of months ago and um, we actually created some of these cards last month. So I'm gonna actually show you the real cards. So they feature some beautiful gold embossing and so that's on the back here is the gold embossing and also some beautiful gold foil. And these come together in a jiffy. So if you're needing some last minute Christmas cards, this kit actually gives you eight cards and envelopes. And um, they're kind of a little bit longer size, but they're beautiful, they're really deluxe. And it includes the stamp set too. So let me see if I can find that. Okay, so dig through all the goodies here. No, do I not have the stamp set? Oh, there it is. This is the stamp set here. So. Um, for those of you who might not know about Paper Pumpkin, Paper Pumpkin is Stampin' Up's um, subscription service that we have every month. It's a kit, and we don't know what it's going to be like, other than a little hint that they give us sometimes. 
And um, this kit is really beautiful because you've got the graphics and you've got some really amazing sayings. You've also got, of course, a wreath that is, you know, suitable to use all year round. And then also a flower, too, that's suitable for all year round. So the paper pumpkin kits are designed to be put together um, in about like half an hour. So these eight cards, all you would need is about half an hour and then you can pop them in the mail, get them addressed. And they've got this beautiful embossing on there too. I don't know, can you see that? Oh, I just love that. So the textured cable knit. I don't know all the different stitches of knitting. But um, so eight cards and envelopes. If that's not enough for you, if you want more than that, or maybe you have a stamp set that you think will work along with it, you can get one of these refill kits. The refill kits don't include the ink spot, which is our new color, just jade. And it doesn't include the, um, the stamp set as well, but it includes the consumable supplies here for the eight cards. You have this kit here, full kit for $30, including shipping and tax to me. And um, this one is $15 including shipping to me and tax as well. So you can get a really good amount of crafting done there for pretty cheap with supplies that you can keep using, you know, for a long time. So this next one that I'm going to show you is also Christmas themed and I'm so excited about this kit. I played with it yesterday and it was my crafting escape. It was so much fun. Um, my husband came downstairs and I think I was about this far away from my papers and I was coloring and he said, are you happy now? And I said, yes, yes I am. So this one's really fun. It contains supplies for 15 cards and envelopes and they're so cute. They're a little bit smaller than normal. So let me show you what they look like. So the little cards look like this, or the little envelopes look like this. And then when you open them up, there's a little bit of stamping on there. Can you see this little filigree pattern here? Then you've also got the saying. And this is so much fun because they've included a blushing bride ink spot. So this one is kind of non-traditional colors, but look at this. It perfectly fits a little gift card. Isn't that adorable? So this is great for, of course, popping in the mail. You will probably have to put it in a larger size envelope just because um, Canada Post is a little bit finicky about what sizes they like to ship. So this one here, you could just pop it into a larger envelope and then it would go no problem. Um, but I think also great for, you know, neighbor gifts or, you know, just to keep them on hand or to give them to people. Um, how about um, kids' friends at school? You could do that as well. This is the stamp set that goes along with it. So the ones that you need for the projects are these ones here and then of course your sayings. But it also includes this cute little house and this is perfect for people who are not really a fan of fussy cutting because it's just squares. Yay! So do you guys want to see what I made? Oh, I love this so much. I was having so much fun. Okay, first of all, I'll show you kind of where I was going with it. So I actually used the house and I did white embossing powder on Whisper White cardstock. We'll talk about Whisper White in a second because I have something to tell you about that too. But I embossed that on white and then I wanted to showcase, oh, I didn't even show you these. These uh, also come in your kit, but they're not included in the project samples as they, you know, give you instructions on how to create them. They're so cute. They're like raised puffy dots and you get two full sheets of them. So you get a lot of them and they're just to use however you want. The kits are always like that, but um, this is the card that I created using that um, embossed house. And then these trees are actually from a, a die set that is retiring. So we used these last month to create our neon trees. And then these ones here cut out the stamped images or just an outline of the tree. You've got your um, snow banks as well. But this tree here is a really fun die. And that actually cuts out, I haven't adhered half of this so I can show you. It actually cuts out um, and then you use the negative shape. So it cuts out and then you just put 
green or patterned paper behind that and it gives a totally interesting look. Um, this house I used actually, which I haven't used in a long time, are stamp and write markers and these are great for whenever you have embossing because the embossing basically works like a color within the lines barrier and it doesn't allow you to move the color over top of the line very easily. And then afterwards you just take a Kleenex and you buffer that off and then the ink, any ink that's residual on top of those lines will just come right off. It's so fun. So I used cherry cobbler and mint macaron and so saffron and what was this one? Crumb cake to do that cute little house. So that's kind of using the kit which has non-traditional Christmas colors in a traditional Christmas color sort of way. And I'll show you what I made here with um, non-traditional Christmas colors. So again, I used the white embossing. This time though, to color it in, I used our watercolor pencils in combination with our blender pen. And our blender pen is so great. I'll just do a quick little demo. While people are joining, right? It's nice to give you a fun little technique when nobody's missing out on anything. So you can just take your watercolor pencil, and I like that you actually don't have to have them really sharp either. And then you can just pick it up with the um, blender pen, and then you can color it in. Now, once you have a color on your blender pen, it's not a problem. You just scribble off until it's clear and then it's ready to go for whatever color that you go to next. You definitely can, um, you know, color on the paper first and then move the color around like that. But for a really detailed image like this, I found it was best to pick it up from the pencil itself and then you get this fun watercolor look. Now these trees I actually did in a similar method to my video for club last month which was to use our water painter and cover the um, shimmery white paper with a lot of water and then to take a little bit of ink from the ink pad and take a water painter and then just add it a little bit and let it kind of dry in this mottled look. So that's what gives it that look and you can tell it's not whisper white paper it's actually shimmery white cardstock, which has a bit of a coating on it and allows us to play with water a little bit more. These blender pens are great for our whisper white and are very vanilla. And um, they're so good because they don't have very much solution in them. So they're not going to pill the paper and kind of disintegrate it. So I do have extras of this kit as well, $30 if you want to make some cute little gingerbread houses. Oh, I love them. Maybe you're really good at making gingerbread too and you would put a tag on your gingerbread. Oh, I forgot to mention too, it comes with the tear and tape too, like a little roll of it or a little spool of it. So you can actually use that to put together your pieces there. Okay, so now we want to talk about something that's not so good. I'm going to move in some of my happy things. Um, I We got some news recently, and it was unfortunate news. And the factory that actually makes Whisper White products for us, so Whisper White cardstock and the note cards and envelopes and um, what else? The envelopes, the heavyweight cardstock, the regular cardstock, they are actually out of business um, due to COVID. They had to shut their factory. So uh, we have some unfortunate news that Whisper White is actually being discontinued. So when I heard this, I have a little heart flutter. For those of you Whisper White lovers out there, um, you might have a heart flutter as well. But I'm just here to tell you everything is going to be okay. <laughs> so. Um, Stampin' Up! has a proprietary way of pressing their paper and that's why we are so crazy about our Whisper White cardstock. Because if you've tried any other cardstock with your stamps, you'll notice a difference when you stamp the image with the clarity of it. So, um, 
we, we still own that proprietary information. It's just a matter of getting another factory up and running. So Whisper White is going to be no more. We are going to have a product called Basic White. And that product is going to be available hopefully sooner than later. We don't have a timeline on that. Um, Stepping up in order to safeguard from people stockpiling paper, because um, you know, <laughs> if anything, 2020 has proven that people like stockpiling paper, right? Toilet paper, I'm talking about specifically. But <laughs> so um, we do have a minimum, or sorry, a maximum of two that people can order, and that includes demonstrators as well. And I believe it's open to customers now for ordering that. So if you did want to try and get two of your Whisper White, I think what they're trying to do is make sure that the inventory lasts a while and that we don't have a lag and that we don't have people stockpiling as well. So um, if you're interested in that, just let me know. I have an order going in tomorrow. And if you're watching the replay, just contact me. I have orders going in weekly, basically. So, um, so don't worry. We've done testing and the testing with demonstrators and with the artisan team, they've determined that basic white is really great as well. It's an approved equivalent. So we don't have to stress, we don't have to fret. We are just going to roll with it, which is also what this year has taught us, right? We're all rolling with it. So whisper white, everything's gonna be okay, guys. Basic white is coming. We don't know when, but it's coming. And it's going to be great. So um, without any further ado, if you got a packet in front of you, then you'll maybe have recognized that this is your bonus card. So I'm not going to go through making each one of these because, um, you know, everyone actually has received a different one of these four beautiful cards. They're actually based off of tags. So this is the tag as it was designed by Stampin' Up. And for my bonus cards for people picking up, I always like to include kit cards so that you can get a taste of what Stampin' Up kits are all about. So the kit that I'm using for this is actually from last year. It's called Winter Gifts and it includes supplies for 24 tags. You can see them there. But I wanted to show a quick and easy way to turn these into cards, which of course, you know, you can do with any tag or anything like that. So if you are interested in one of these kits, they count as a paper pumpkin refill. And so $15, including tax and shipping, and the shipping is to my house. So if you want it shipped to you, it's a little bit more, but um, we can explore that option if you want that. So I have a couple of those on hand if you are interested. And I wanted to showcase, um, I've stamped these with some fun sayings. Um, of course, the paper pumpkin kit had an exclusive stamp set that went along with it. And you could see the piece, let it snow, gift for you, love and joy. I don't have any full kits left, but I'm sure you've got a stamp in your collection that will work along with this. So I would highly recommend a couple that I've used here for my samples. So Curvy Christmas is um, one I'm actually gonna talk about in a second. I'm gonna start with a Merry Hello. And this one is maybe one that you've never even noticed. It's at the back of our mini catalog in our hostess section because it's an exclusive, exclusive host offering. And so for $14, you can get this adorable stamp set, which gives you really fun uh, images and some great sayings there too. <clears throat> I don't know if your eye directly went to the 2020. I'm sure you could come up with some creative ways of using that stamp as well because this is a year that you know we will never forget. So um, this is kind of a, a fun stamp. I've never seen a year actually in a stamp set from Stampin' Up! So this is great. Um, it's like they knew <laughs> that this year was going to be a humdinger. I don't know. <laughs> so a Merry Hello I've used. Um, it's the best time of the year here. Uh, and then I've also used Heartfelt Christmas on this card here. So um, let me show you the other stamp set. I mean, you guys are if you're crafting, you're crafting at home right now and you're using these samples, right? Oh, I hope so. I sure hope so while I keep talking here. Curvy Christmas is another stamp set that I use for the Merry Christmas. And I put that one on this cute little deer. And um, this deer is pretty spectacular in person. It's a, a kind of shiny but matte um, that 
Those things are opposites, but I don't know how to explain it. It's a shiny and matte deer. It's all those things all in one. But I've used Curvy Christmas, which is an exclusive stamp set that is only available till the end of the month. It's part of our Curvy Celebrations uh, early release products. And this is one of the exclusives. So we've got a stamp set and a framelit set, which are coming out in our new catalog. And those ones are available to pre-order right now. Also included in this offering is this curvy Christmas stamp set and also the designer series paper. And these are the, from that designer series paper pack. It's a six inch by six inch paper pack and includes just three colors, but they're the best colors. So you don't need more, more colors than that. And then it has patterns that are in all of those colors. So this is actually all I have left here. This is the cherry copper color. We've got the shaded spruce and the Sahara sand. I just love these. They're perfect for a person like me who's super matchy matchy and just wants to have <laughs> everything coordinate and not introduce a whole bunch of colors. So the reason why I bring up this curvy Christmas is because this is a limited time offering. So this stamp set is only available till the end of the month, as is this designer series paper pack. So there's a couple of different ways that you can get it. You can get it on its own. You definitely can do that. So $29 for that stamp set. And this case actually doesn't showcase it very well. It's huge. It's long enough to cover the whole length of a card, a standard size card. So um, you can get this set for $29. You can get the six inch by six inch paper on its own for $15.75. But I would highly recommend getting this variety bundle. And this one comes with the stamp set and the framelits that of course coordinate, but these ones are going to be featured in our next mini catalog. And it also includes the Christmas stamp set and the designer series paper and everything at a 10% discount. So you're definitely gonna want that one, right? So make sure you get this before the end of the month if you're interested in these. Blah, blah, blah. Do you wanna see um, how I actually put these together? I'll start on the left here. So this is a cute little cardinal and everything comes die cut in this pack. So I just pop these pieces out and I put the sprigs, the sprigs are kind of hard to tell sometimes digitally. So I put the sprigs on top of the little holly branches there. And then I put some little pearls. These actually have sequins in the, the real kit, but for some reason the sequins were missing in mine. So I've included pearls in your projects at home. So you'll just see there's some pearls there. Okay, so for this one here, you'll just have to tie the, um, um, <laughs> my family's home from a walk and so they burst in the door and they're yelling. <laughs> um, so you'll just tie this cute little um, piece of twine on. It's not twine, it's like silver and cord, I would say. And that goes on to the top there. Sweetie, I can't talk right now because I'm busy working. Okay, thank you. Um, and then we've got here um, our sprigs. I put two of them there along with the two holly leaves, two holly leaves. The red circle goes in the back and then the blue flag piece and then the deer. And I use dimensionals for pretty much everything because I love dimensionals. For the tag for this one, instead of doing, you know, the big long tails that you would tie onto a bag, I just tied a bow onto the top there and then I layered these beautiful silver embossed snowflakes on there. I've got the beautiful um, pearls and then the tag, again, dimensionals all around because why not? This one I think is one of my favorites and um, I modified the tag a little bit. The tag comes with a loop on the top here, on the top of the tree. So I cut that off into a little point so that we didn't know that that was there. And then I took the snowflakes out and I kind of tucked them behind. I love this tree though. And I'll show you maybe, um, last year I had a class where I took it up a notch. And so I used some of our glue and I put um, some glitter wherever there was snow on the tree and I just took it up a notch. So if you do have a product like that that you can use, oh it sure looks pretty. 
And then for the center of the snowflake as well, I took it up a notch and put on one of our beautiful um, embellishments that we're going to be using actually on the next project here. Oh man, those guys are loud. I think they might have forgotten that I'm working. <laughs> okay. Um, they ham it up on Mondays nights a little bit more because we do our Zoom meeting, which I do on Google Meet. And uh, on Google Meet, they can come down and, you know, it's a little bit more casual. But this is saved forever, so I usually like it to be nice and quiet and... Um, <laughs> I can concentrate. So you'll have to apologize because mommy brain goes to wherever the sound is going and you wonder what on earth is going on up there. So, okay, this is another kit that I wanted to show you that I do have on hand as well. This is a tags kit, which is perfect for this time of year when you're wanting to do those last minute tags. This comes together so quickly. All you do is a little bit of stamping. This has a stamp set that comes separately. So, um... You can definitely order that. It's not going to come in time, but it'll come in time for next year. Um, but I'm thinking that you probably own something that's going to be similar. So the only thing that you have to stamp in this are the sayings on all of these tags. And they're so cute. They have these cute little cutouts. So I'll just show you this as well. And this is actually 50% off right now. So even though I purchased those kits at regular price, um, you get them for 50% off. So $20.50 before shipping and tax for these 30 tags, which of course you could do just like the other projects and turn into cards as well. But these are so beautiful. I just love those hanging on the bag. Aren't they nice? And then the stamp set here says to and from. Um, I stamped that on there as well, but maybe you have something like that at home or maybe you can even write that in. Okay. Also, adorable box, right? So cute. Okay, so many of you saw the video that I posted taking this enormous list and putting it into our visual that, you know, most of us use primarily, which is our catalog. So I hope that you have watched that video. If you haven't, some of the items are sold out. Many of them are not. So if you're interested, you still want to get something from in here, there is basically everything is leaving. So everything that has a cross through it, those are all retiring. Stamp sets aren't really on sale, but dies are up to 50% off. Kits and embossing folders, ribbons, embellishments, paper, there's a lot of 50% off. So let me know if you want anything from in there and I'd be happy to get that on order for you before it leaves us. Now we're going to create a card that has product, project materials that look like this. And the card that we're making here is kind of a fancy fold. I always do a couple of different options. So we've got two different color options and I'll show you here what this is going to look like when it's all finished. So we've got our foil paper in either the red or green color. And then we've got our 12 Tidings designer series paper, which is um, red on one side, green on the other side. You open it up, you open it the weird way which is kind of a little bit trippy. So if it's gonna hang you up, that's going to be it on this card. So then we've got another piece here that opens and then goes into the inside where you can stamp your saying. So we've got kind of two levels of it opening. So it opens right first and then left. Are you ready for this? Hang on, here we go. Remember that when I'm crafting, I'm doing it fast. If you're just tuning in now, um, don't have a heart attack, honestly, because um, there's the replay available afterwards. You can pause me at any time. Now, you might not have seen this before, but sometimes when you burnish your paper, it actually gets kind of shiny. So what I've been doing, when I really don't want that to show, is use um, a piece of scrap paper and then it folds really nicely and it doesn't have that problem. Okay, so I've actually pre-stamped this, so I'm just going to make sure that I'm putting this on in the right way. And I'm going to bring in my stamp and seal on the back. And this is going to be the first thing that I do. 
to make sure that I'm aligning everything straight. So folding this part out, I'm going to then, oops, not put it on crooked, that's for sure. There we go, put it on so it's kind of centered all the way around, and then I'm going to start layering up my other pieces. Now the next part that's going to maybe hang you up, what do I want to do here? I think I want green showing. Now I had a little bit of a problem when I was designing this because as you know I'm a matchy matchy kind of a person and so if you are also a matchy matchy kind of a person maybe you'll appreciate me this maybe you'll think I'm crazy but um, I really like it when <laughs> the design and series paper matches the cardstock base and then um, in the case if you have the green foil especially you'll notice <laughs> that it does not match the design of series paper and maybe you know what maybe this doesn't matter to you and good for you if that's the case <laughs> you're further along in your stamping therapy than I am um, so anyways that's what I'm doing I've got red so it doesn't really matter but if I had the red cardstock base then you've got the the green foil and then that's where it's not going to match your green okay I am talking my way through this but really what I'm trying to show you is don't put adhesive all the way across this because then when you flip it over you're going to glue your card shut. So just put it on the side where you are adhering it down. And this is a trick that you know we've been caught up with. Even if you're an experienced stamper sometimes this happens, right? Um, then we've got our beautiful punched image and we're going to stick that on there. And then I've got a circle here. Circle fits all kinds of different sayings. This one I'm actually using from our gift wrapped. And that was the same one that I used actually on the inside here for Very Merry Christmas. This one comes with Christmas sayings, but those bows, those are all year round. So you don't have to worry about, you know, this just being a seasonal stamp set. You can use this for birthdays. You can use it for everything. Now, as much as I love dimensionals, when I'm making a card where there's something on the inside, I like it when there is no dimensionals there, so this part folds nice and flat. So wrapped especially for you. Might be put on a little bit crooked. There we go. Um, but that's from the gift wrap stamp set that of course goes along with our bow punch here, which I've used um, without any stamping or anything, and I think it still looks really beautiful. It reminds me of um, curling ribbon, which as a kid was always like the fanciest way to wrap a present. <laughs> so I don't know if you were like this as well, but holy moly, if you want fancy, you went for that curling ribbon, right? You know what? Last night I got myself in trouble with Tombow, which sometimes happens because I'm a little bit um, squirt happy with that. So that's this glue here. It's a liquid glue and I have a habit of getting my fingers into things like that. So I'm going to use um, my glue dots tonight just because then I just know it's going to be perfect. I've got these little strips cut a little bit longer. You might have one big long strip, you might have two little strips from the stuff that you um, have for me, but I just did one strip across and I did it a little bit off-center just to be a little bit more avant-garde and I'm going to then put this one on here too and I'm just kind of eyeballing where the end of this is I guess I could probably snip it off that would make my life like so much easier right okay there we go when you're cutting small strips like this sometimes it's really difficult to get a, a nice clean end and that's why I make you cut your own length so that it goes perfect because no way could I ever get that perfect every time. Okay, so we've got our beautiful, oh, and now they've, <laughs> now my daughter's obviously pressed the test button on our um, smoke detector and carbon monoxide detector. So the dog is running for the hills. <laughs> I'm going to have to have a talk with them in the new year and be like, okay guys, <laughs> family meeting, game plan, I'm about to go live, don't do anything crazy. <laughs>
you guys know if you've watched the previous video, there's always something going on, whether it's a toddler, you know, up early from his nap and needing help in the washroom. <laughs> There's always something. This is life, guys. So I put some dimensionals on there. Um, I hope that it brings you joy <laughs> to see the chaos that happens in my world. Um, I hope that you know that uh, what you see is what you get with this chick here. So, <laughs> so I've got some cute little embellishments. I couldn't resist, you guys. I know that they're retired, but they are my gift with a $100 purchase this month. And they're so cute. They've got the glimmer already in them. Can you guys see that? Oh, is it going to focus? There it is. Aren't they adorable? They come in red and green. You get 160 in a pack. And you can't buy these anymore from Stampin' Up! So um, I would be happy to give you some of these for free with a $100 purchase. And if you've already made a purchase this month, know that it is $100 cumulative. So that means that um, I'd be happy to tell you what you've already ordered for the merchandise amount. And then you can top it up so that you can get your free goodies there. So I'm using the green ones because matchy matchy, they go with my beautiful green cardstock. And I used my take your pick tool and that just makes it so much easier. I used to blame, you know, my problems with um, picking things up on my gel nails that I had. And now I've realized it's not the gel nails because I've got the nice um, quarantine nails going on. So <laughs> there you go, you guys. I hope you're happy with that. All right, now on to where you can find these products in the catalog. So I'm, you know what, I'm sorry. I, I do normally put this here, don't I? <clears throat> there we go. Okay, so let's talk about where we can get these from the catalog. So in our mini catalog, we've got our gift wrap stamp set. You can bundle and save this for 10%, but I think it actually works out better or maybe just about the same to get the punch for 20% off and then get the stamp set as well. So we'll work that out if you want this one, we can definitely get it for you. Okay, next thing from our mini catalog are the red and gold foil sheets. Those ones are not being discontinued. So not urgent to get those this month. You can get them in time for Christmas next year. Our 12 tidings designer series paper though is 30% off. And this is the one that um, we used here and also here and I don't know if you noticed this I didn't really point it out but it's the exact same pattern on both sides of the paper one is red one is green so I really like that okay then from our annual catalog I'm buying you time to craft you guys I hope you appreciate that <laughs> so we've got um, of course our circle punch now these punches I think are essentials for every crafter. You always need a circle punch and it fits so many different things. Be it um, a saying like what I used here or um, even to um, punch out and make the circle of a center of a flower or um, you know punch out another shape, something like that, layer it up. The other really versatile punch that I love is the Label Me Lovely. And this one I've shown in previous videos, you can make this as long as you want or short. You can cut off and make the end of a tag on just this side or this side. So if you want to know about that, just write in the comments and I will be happy to link that video up for you so that you can know it. Okay, I bought you some time. Did that help you out? I hope so. The next project that we're going to be making this pile has a lot of stuff in it here, so let me just dig through it. The next one that we're going to be doing is this one here. It comes with the Seaside Spray full um, card back, as opposed to there's a five inch by five inch gray piece in your, in your kits. Don't use that one, that's for a different project. And then you'll want this one here, which has um, some different pieces in here cut out. So I always do a challenge for my club members who swap and the challenge every year is to make a card with non-traditional 
Christmas color. So I actually didn't do that this year. I figured, oh, just give me a break. You make Christmas cards in whatever damn colors you want. <laughs> There's your little vacation. But this one here, I took on as a challenge for myself as a club card. So I hope you enjoy these colors that I've kind of put together. Normally you don't put too much black on a Christmas card and this is all blue. There's no traditional Christmas colors, which I consider to be red and green. So that's where I'm coming with that. Now you're going to take your backing piece here. This is now made out of very vanilla because you better believe when the announcement came out and I had my um, Whisper White cut, I just tucked that to the side and <laughs> we're going to be using vanilla because it's completely covered up and I'm saving that Whisper White. So I hope you get a chuckle out of that, me with my little hoarded scrap pieces. This here is our brass foil and I've embossed it with the subtle embossing folder. And you'll notice that your pieces are a little bit longer than the backing piece and that's done on purpose so that we can get a nice overlap and get perfect alignment. And we don't have to worry about, you know, maybe putting something on a little bit crooked and it messing everything up. This designer series paper is so beautiful with the foil on there. And this is the brass foil on there as well. I'm going to now put this strip over top here. This is to help kind of transition it even more. I've got a cut nice and long for you so you can stick it on there. What do I want to do? I think I want a little bit more of the that fun grid. So then once you've got that sorted out, you're going to go from the back side and just trim off using your paper snips. Or you can use a paper trimmer would work really well as well. That means that you get perfect overlap and it just looks beautiful. Okay, so let's just clean up these little bits here. Then I'm going to put that on with some dimensionals. I'm finishing up a dimensional sheet here. And I feel so accomplished whenever I do this. I know I've talked about it before. Maybe it brings you comfort that I'm still saying all the same things here alone in my basement talking to the internet <laughs> as I would as if you were here with me. So I'm just going to stick that onto my card right there. And now I'm going to start putting my other pieces together. Now I probably should have got you doing this one first, but you're going to grab your water painters and you're going to pop out these pieces on this die cut globe. So you can use your, um, take your pick die brush attachment. This one is a lifesaver. But when I'm cutting out 48 projects, sorry guys, I make you do a little bit of work here. <laughs> so just pick out your little pieces. You'll feel that this paper is a little bit different um, than our Whisper White, our very vanilla, and even it's different than what we used for this technique last month, which was the trees. So this is watercolor paper. It's our Fluid 100. So I'm going to use my water painter, which I've pulled out. I pulled out the large brush one. Do you guys have these yet? Oh, I hope you've invested because I know that your aqua painters, your old ones like this, probably are all frayed at the tips and they're not working very well anymore. This is a really good investment and they're a lot cheaper than our old ones were too. So it's a good thing to purchase. Now I wanted to show you um, a technique here because with our old ink pads, the ones that look like this, we could open them, we could bend that, and then we could get a smoosh of ink to use as a palette in the lid. Now our new ink pad design is so firm that if we do that, we, oh, that is not the case. <laughs> Um, okay, nothing is there. I had something in there from before. <laughs> if you smoosh it, you don't get anything in there. Okay, so how do you use these to ink up something and maybe you don't have the little reinker bottles, right? So I wanted to show you a really fun and easy technique. I've got it up here. And um, I didn't clean this off from last night. That's okay. All you do is you take your ink pad, it doesn't matter which kind it is, and you take a clear block, preferably you don't have it already inky, and then you just smoosh your 
ink pad onto it and that's going to deposit some ink on there that then we can use and pick up. Now I'm not using the Seaside Spray, that one coordinates definitely, but I'm going to use the Misty Moonlight. When I use the Seaside Spray it just was a little bit too light. So I've got our Mossy Meadow for the green and Misty Moonlight here for our blue. And that's just so that I can get a beautiful green for the land. I've got ink on myself because I using a block that already had stuff on it. <laughs> okay, baby wipes to the rescue for everything. Okay, so let's take a look here. I'll flip this over just so you can see what's going on. So we've got our block that's inked up. Then I'm going to put a drop or two in each of those so that I don't have too much color saturation. It's just gonna water it down a little bit. But in addition to that, I'm gonna make sure that I don't have any ink on my brush. And then I'm going to glide it over top, or I do have a bit of blue, but that's okay. It's not gonna show up. I'm gonna glide it over, and I'm squeezing a little bit so I can get good water saturation onto my globe. Now, then you can just start painting whatever you want. I'm going to take some green here, now, you could not do this technique with our Whisper White. So, see you later, Whisper White. We don't need you for this. <laughs> One of my favorite techniques. We don't even need you. Um, this would roll the paper. So, we don't want to use Whisper White for a technique like this. Same with our Very Vanilla. Um, we want to use what we did last month, which was um, the shimmery white cardstock or we want to use this watercolor the fluid 100 paper so i really like that the colors are kind of blending in together and i'm doing this off camera but i just have a little bit of a baby wipe here and that's what i use to kind of clean the brush i give it a bit of a squeeze get the water running from inside and cleaning off the brush tip and I really should just put this away and wipe it off so I don't sabotage myself and ink myself up because that's what always happens, right? Or else you've got a block with like daubs of uh, reinker on it. And then sure enough, you put your project right in it. Do you guys do this too? Okay, so bring in your, I have to get out another um, baby wipe because of course, I've got more ink on myself. <laughs> I need supervision over here. I need a spotter or somebody to take care of me. Okay, bring in the heat tool. This is one of the shortest cord ever right now, I guess. I'm not going to So there are two settings for our heat tool. There's um, an ink drying setting, which is the first one, and then there's also the heat embossing setting. Now, come on. Two settings, go big or go home. I'm the same way with my car air conditioning and my heat. Either it's full blast, one or the other. Nothing in the middle. <laughs> so you know I'm getting this on too. Getting it done. So I'll get it um, most of the way there. Then I will put that to the side and let it dry a little bit more and I'm gonna do the rest of this here. So these dyes, are retiring and I'm so surprised because I love them so much they are a standalone die but they do have a stamp set that goes along with it bring that in here where can you see them here we go so we've got our dies there and they have peace and bright and joy all three of those on three different layers but what I'm working at here is getting the backing that I stuck on there off these are our adhesive sheets and they are a lifesaver so all you do is cut them into the piece that you'll need stick them back on the back side of the paper in this case it was the brass foil that I stuck it onto. then I cranked it through my big boss and now I've got a sticker with adhesive exactly where I need it no fussing around with liquid glues. Don't need you, Tombo. See you later. And then now you can stick this on. And you can do this 
with, um, you can use that product with punches and also with dies. So I'm putting it onto this vellum layer, which is just beautiful. And then on the back side of that vellum, I'm going to just use my glue dots and I put two of them on. Kind of hidden. Um, the vellum will blur the adhesive and kind of blend it away. But um, oh, did I show you what the card we're actually making looks like? I don't think I did. You guys are all just trusting me. Here we go. We put our joy together like this. So um, you can see there's a little bit of adhesive there showing, but I don't think it really catches your eye. So I'm okay with it for the, um, the ease of it. Now let me show you what we're actually making here. Of course, I've got two different color options with the glimmer paper. One is using our black glimmer paper, which is... Uh, I think they're both retiring. No, maybe the black glimmer is not. Oh, guys, I've got it marked in my book. We'll just go through it when we do that part. But the blue I know is. That's a bl balmy blue. So we've got our little joy. That's a triple layer. We've got our um, foil. Then we've got our vellum. And then we've got our glimmer paper. And I'm going to put the rest of this all together with dimensionals. Okay. Two dimensionals here. Should I put the globe on first? Maybe. I don't know. There we go. Finish the dimensional sheet, guys. Woo! Happy dance. Okay. Now, I Googled this. <laughs> Full disclosure, I Googled this. But the earth doesn't go just straight up and down. It goes on a 23 degree axis. So who knew that without Googling? I know there's um, one person in particular who is a science person and I think that you probably knew that it was at a 23 degree angle. So put it at a 23 de degree angle. Put your joy up there at the top. Then we've got another little globe. And this actually is cut from our designer series paper. Isn't that fun? You get a whole sheet of them. This designer series paper pack is so beautiful, so gender neutral. You've got the maps with the brass foil embossing on there. You've got some more maps. And there's Edmonton. Um, we've got all different kinds of kind of masculine. We've got, of course, the two different blue options there. But I really liked using this little globe here. Make sure you put that one at 23 degrees too. Because, <laughs> guys, it's not just a card anymore. It's an educational tool. <laughs> You're going to take your two ribbons and just lay them on top of each other. And you're not tying them in a bow or anything. You're just going to tie them in an easy-peasy knot. So just tying them one around the other, one end around the other. And then you're going to have this beautiful kind of layered look. I stuck that on with a blue dot. And then we can trim off this little bit here. Now this card I think would be beautiful like this. Standalone, you've got the joy on there, you've got your saying, it's so perfect. But I wanted to show you how you can actually take it up a notch by using the stamp set that goes along with it. And I just love this stamp set. It's got, of course, the joy, peace, and bright. Those coordinate with the middle size dies. So the same die as what would be on the vellum layer here is what would cut out that stamped image. But um, here, I actually used on my little sample here, just to showcase how you could take it up a notch, this little joy to the world. And I stamped that with Versamark and used white embossing so that I could get this cute little joy to the world. It's not gonna pick it up there. Let me show you, I'll put it on my card and then you can see it. So joy to the world. And I thought that just kind of summed it up perfectly, isn't it? lovely to think about joy to the world. So there you go. There is your card.
Now let me show you, I'm going to put these to the side because I think you guys are caught up on those or you've abandoned ship on those maybe. And I'll put those to the side here and then I'll show you some of the products that we used for this card. Now this embossing folder is called Subtle and really when you use it for paper it does turn out quite subtle. On the brass, oh boy, it's not subtle is it? It's quite showy, isn't it? But I really like the texture on there. Adds a whole different element of dimension. The other suite that I've used is this beautiful world. Now I didn't use any of the stamps from there of course, but um, I did use the dies to coordinate. And I love these dies because it has one side of the world and then the other side of the world. And um, you can crank two of them through at the same time. So it kind of halves the time that you need if you're looking for just a globe on a card. So that was a real bonus. You've also got the stand that the globe sits in. You've got um, an inkwell and the quill that you can cut out too, as well as just a circle if you wanted to, you know, cut out. This was another one that I did. I stamped this with a Versamark and then did the embossing with white and then cut it out with the circle. So that's another way of using this. But there's a really cool die in here, which actually doesn't cut anything. It just impresses words into the page. So I don't know if it's actual words, if it's legible, but it looks really cool. Okay, let's go through the catalogs. So starting again with our retiring items, let's go through that catalog first. So we've got our peace and joy. Those dies, which I've said are a standalone, you don't actually need the stamp set to go with those. You can get them just on their own. 30% off right now, so that's really a good deal. And then we've also got, what did I use here? Oh, the Balmy Blue Glimmer Paper, which I believe might be sold out, but let me know if you want it, because I might have an extra one. That one's 50% off, good deal. Oh, the, it was the black glimmer paper that's not retiring, so we don't have to rush on that one. That's going to be in our annual catalog. Now, speaking of this annual catalog, we've got our World of Good Suite, and that's where we get this globe, which is on the next page, and that stamp set, Beautiful World. And then we've got, I used the... Um, embossing tool with the heat embossing with white and the Versamark that's where you'd find that is on page 146. I know a lot of you guys just prefer the catalogs and I sure do as well. World of Good Designer series paper is the one that I used and then of course we used the Fluid 100 watercolor paper. Last month we used the shimmery white cardstock and that was on the trees that we made multicolored. We have also got on this page the foil sheets, which come in brass, champagne, copper, gold, and silver. The brass are brand new in this catalog. And then we also use from this page our vellum cardstock, which I use every single month. It's just so perfect. Our ribbons are the Misty Moonlight from our In Colors. And then also on that same page, 160, we've got our metallic ribbon in Seaside Spray. And did you notice the weave on those is pretty much the same but the um, seaside spray just has you know that metallic built into it on our adhesive page maybe you missed it number one are those adhesive sheets and those are the ones that you want to add to your order for sure and we've also got our dies but you're going to want to probably get that in a bundle and save 10 percent with along with the stamp set and then our subtle 3D embossing folder, which is a thing. It's We called it the invisible embossing folder because nobody could tell what it was in the beginning. And then now that we know what it is, oh boy, we can't get enough of it, can we? Okay, next project. All right, maybe I'm leaving you in my desk and I'm going to remind you, the replay is available forever. So it's okay. You don't have to stress. You don't have to rush. We're going to pull out our project that looks like this. And I'll show you what it ends up looking like here at the end. 
So this is a wine bottle tag and I actually have one here. I had it on my son's Lego table for a while and that raised some questions with uh, my husband, but it hooks over the top of your wine bottle just like this and then it decorates the front. So you can just, you know, plunk this on somebody's doorstep um, and, you know, have the bottle speak for itself. I used to saying warm wishes from our home to yours because I thought that was so perfect. Um, let's take a look at how we put this together. Okay, so we've got our piece of designer series paper. Now I should show you what this looked like before I got working on it. The piece of designer series paper looked like this, which had, of course, um, our poinsettias, but they're done in the white color. And that would be beautiful just as is, right? That It looks great. Um, but I wanted to show you because anything that's white, we can turn into a color. So I just use my Stampin' Blends to get a bit of a red poinsettia going on here. So I don't know if you can see, I've done all of them except for that one there. Oh, there we go. So I'll show you how I did that. I'm using real red just because matchy matchy, it matches some of your cardstock bases there. So I'm going to use the darker one first. And I'm just kind of following their guideline of where they put the veins and the shading. It doesn't really look pretty at this point. It looks like a spider, a scribbly spider. But now I'm going to come in over top with my I'm going to do my fine tip. You'll want to be careful with this. Um, if you're used to coloring with our Whisper White or Very Vanilla with your blends, which are alcohol-based markers, uh, you'll be used to something a little bit different in terms of like ink saturation and spread when you are coloring. So you'll just want to be aware if you're coloring on this paper, it does tend to spread a little bit. So um, color inside the lines and then you won't have as much bleeding. And if you have bleeding, don't worry. Well, okay, if you have actual bleeding, call, hang up the phone and call 911, right? <laughs> That's what the doctor's office tells you. But if you have ink bleeding, then um, you just go with it. You say, this is the look, and I wasn't going to color within the lines, and I didn't even want to do that anyways. <laughs> That's how we spin it. Um, I've cut these a little bit longer than your piece of paper. And I do that because there's oftentimes one side of it that's a little bit more exciting. So I'm actually gonna trim off this side here. So taking my um, stamp and seal and just putting that on. And then I'm going to trim from the back side here. This is a bonus project that I'm giving you guys. I don't normally do four uh, projects for club. But I um, really wanted to use these products before I thought that they were going away. But you know what? These uh, are actually not retiring. So I'm so glad about that. This part here is a circle that I've punched out. And I've already embossed this piece of, what is it? Soft suede with our Scripty embossing folder. And I've already gone ahead and stamped here warm wishes from our heart, our house to yours, our home to yours, I should say. That's from the Poinsettia Petals stamp set, which is really big. It's shrunk down on the cover. You can see how much it's shrunk down. Those are supposed to be the same stamp there. So honestly, it's a, a really amazing stamp set that comes with beautiful sayings and beautiful imagery as well. It has a coordinating die pack, which I'm going to tell you about a little bit more in a minute, but it's got a lot of dies in that pack too. So I'll tell you about that in just a minute, but I'm going to keep you stamping here. We've got our poinsettia, which is cut out and embossed. And it's in our three different colors for um, our foil. So we've got those here. Don't put your um, dimensionals all the way around because you can see it's, depending on how you put it, it's going to be hanging off the side here. So don't put dimensionals everywhere or else you'll have to peel them off afterwards. Okay, so I kind of put that like this. And this one down here, there we go. Oops, I peeled off my whole dimensional. 
Here we go. Okay, and then for our beautiful woven ribbon, which maybe you didn't even see is in our cat our mini catalog. It's so pretty, but it kind of is on an invisible page, in my opinion. I just folded that in half, put it on itself. So I think I was kind of alluding to that this is a bonus project, and my husband, I think, is going to have me committed one of these days because you know, prepping for 48 for three projects is a lot. And then prepping for 48 for four projects adds a lot. <laughs> and I also do a bonus card for when people pick up from my house. So I think I was prepping 240 projects or something this month. It was kind of crazy. Okay, I'm going to snip off these ends just to make them look so pretty. And for some reason, I like it both going the same way. I'm going to do that other one a little bit shorter. There we go. Ta-da! So there's our beautiful woven ribbon. Now the final finishing touch for this is to put our little vellum sprig in. And I do that at the very end, actually, just because I like to eyeball it. And I press it onto my little glue dot here. And I pick it up with my take your pick tool. And I'm going to tuck that in underneath and I don't I can't even tell you why I like doing this other than the fact that like it kind of allows me to visualize the whole thing and then put it in exactly where I want it all right you good with that I know you're crafting away frantically at home but I'm going to show you a couple more things so this tag here that I use is actually from our ornate frames oh there's a hidden one in the back there so ornate frames is the pack of dies that I used and let's see maybe you can see that there there we go um the, it's actually quite a plain die that I used because there's some that are really stepped up this is such a fun one to have though especially if you're a fan of you know having your sayings on another piece and layering that over the top. These ones all emboss and cut out. It's so pretty. Okay, let's get to talking about what I wanted to mention about these poinsettia dies. So I was mass producing these. So typically you have a die which will cut out your stamped image. Right? Oops, oops, oops. There we go. That might be it. So it will cut out your stamped image, but there's also another die which can nest inside of it, which you can crank through your die cutting machine at the same time. Now, when you first get these, oh my goodness, you're going to be, you know, moving it round and round and round till you find how it aligns. Now, my first hack is when you first get your dies, draw a little line. Oops, I'm gonna have to hold it like this. Draw a little line on your dies with a sharpie and that's going to tell you your alignment so that you can get it aligned every time without having to piece together the petals okay that's my tool tip number one with this one now if you're like me and if you're going to prep a million of these and they're cut out like this i just used some packing tape clear packing tape and i glued i adhered the outside frame that cuts and the inside that impresses in onto the same. And then I trimmed the excess, I trimmed it in between here, so that there's really just a bit of adhesive showing and it doesn't really damage the paper or anything like that. So that way I can just slap it right onto my paper while it's on the machine and crank it through and then I know that it's perfect placement. Now you're definitely going to want to separate this after you're done and before you cut out just the outline, but this is a really great tip for cranking out a whole bunch of these poinsettias. Now the smaller little poinsettia there, it cuts out and embosses all in one. But these ones here are two different dies. Can you see that there? Okay, clear as mud, right? This is a really big set and it would be fantastic to get at 50% off. It would be fantastic even to get it at 10% off, which is the deal on right now before the end of this catalog on January 5th. The new one comes out January 6th. 
So let me just show you what I'm talking about here. So the points that a place suite, our designer series paper is 30% off right now. We also have some great deals on these other things. Let me know if you're interested because um, I think some of them are sold out, but I think I have some of them still. We've got just the bundle leaving us. So this is the stamp set and the framelits. Bundle and save 10% is leaving us at the end of this catalog, but you will still be able to get these products afterwards. So if you wanted to save that 10%, now would be a good time to get those items. Okay, we've got our brush metallic, and that comes in bronze, copper, and gold. It's really pretty, you guys, and that one's not retiring, so we'll have even longer to play with it. It comes like this in 12 inch by 12 inch sheets, and it's super reflective, but it does have a brushed look to it. Can you guys see that? It's really pretty. That's probably one of my favorite things from this new catalog. Now the invisible ribbon that I use is the embroidered ribbon, which is 50% off right now. Now I do want to caution you, if you have a red tag, there's a possibility where you might have a bit of a different ribbon going on. I'll just show you the two of those together. So one of them has the gold woven into it, and one of them is like thread embroidered. This is the one that's 50% off right now. This is one that's coming in our new catalog. So. Um, not to confuse you and think, you know, you order something for 50% off and then you get it and you're like, this is not what I had in mind. Um, from our annual catalog, we've got our ornate frames. That was for the tag for our same. And we also have the Scripty 3D embossing folder. And that was for this piece here. All right, you guys ready for the last project? Hold on, hold on to your socks because we're about to make a beautiful card that is, I think, a real show shop, showstopper. And it is the favorite card from last night, the ladies who were crafting with me. So you're going to grab your final pieces here, which is a weird five inch by five inch piece with a score line down and um, your pieces with the cut tree in them. Okay, so let's just pull all these pieces out and I'll show you what we're making. Okay, remember, let's all just take a deep breath and remind ourselves that we can go back and watch the replay for any of this, okay? So no need to get frazzled and make rash, you know, decisions and putting things together, you know, in a way where you're not confident. Just go back and watch the video, okay? So let's take a look at this card. We've got thinking of you this season and when we open it up it's a window sheet on the front and then we've got this peekaboo to our beautiful paper we've also got embossing on there and we've got what we dubbed our fluffy tree last year it's the two layer tree which you can then fluff up as well and then we've got our frosted and clear epoxy drops on the top there oh i'm showing you my sample from last night when i had inky fingers i should show you this one <laughs> only show the good work oh this one got inky too oh no that's just a bit of adhesive okay can you guys see the difference between the two of those those are the frosted and the epoxy there okay let's get crafting Everyone take a deep breath, it's all gonna be okay. What I want to express to you is, we are going to be sandwiching this window sheet in between this gray piece here and this white embossed piece over the top, okay? So let's just keep that in mind. And we're going to try and keep the overhang as little as possible on this window sheet so that we can make sure that we have enough on the bottom here. Okay, I'm going to use my turn tape, which is put to the side here. Woo, here we go. So tear and tape. If you guys have this product, you know it, you love it. You probably use it a lot. I love it for applications like this, especially because then I can show you exactly what I'm doing. So I'm putting the adhesive along the bottom of that piece and I'm going to 
tear that off. This is about, um, about the same thickness as our stamp and seal. So if you're using that as a guide, that would be your guide. And we want this piece of window sheet, which is cut extra long. We're going to cut that off afterwards. But we want that just overhanging half. Okay, so it's only half adhered onto that um, tear and tape. So there's still tear and tape that is exposed there. And the reason that we're doing that is so that we have enough to adhere our bottom piece, which is cut just like that. Okay. All right. Okay, that's step one. And I'll do a public service announcement again. Your um, designer series paper, your window sheet, and also your um, embossed white sheets are all cut long. I'm going to put a little bit more on here. I want to make sure it really sticks on there. And the reason why I do that is because, for goodness sakes, it's hard enough aligning a window sheet <laughs> when it's invisible, right? Then to have to align like the top and the bottom and the sides all at once, oh my goodness, no. So I just figured we'll trim it off and then we will, you know, adjust it afterwards. And then um, for these embossed pieces, I really like when I can trim it off so it's perfect after it's been embossed. And depending on what embossing folder you're using, it uh, can really shrink the paper after it's embossed versus its pre-embossed length. So the reason I do that is so that we can have it perfect. I'm a bit of a perfectionist. Don't know if you noticed that. The other reason why I, I trim these designer series papers long is because one side is usually more exciting than the other side. So we're just gonna trim off that excess as well. And I like to use my paper snips for this. Okay, there we go. All right, let's align this part now because I think maybe this is a good time to do it. So take your stamp and seal. I did this first last night, actually. This will work now. Take your, take your stamp and seal, and then you're just going to put it up so that it's just underneath that front piece. Okay, we've got that. We've got that coming down over top. Now let's work on the bottom, adhering the bottom of our card. So just a reminder, we've got our top piece. The window is sandwiched in between this gray piece and the white. And we're going to do the same thing with the bottom. And that's so that the inside is nice and clean. There's no adhesive and it's all covered. Okay, so we're keeping that in mind. We're going to put our tear tape on top of our strip here. I've got some gold gilding foil on there. That's from our new catalog. It's, it's wanting to make its debut as well. Okay, so I'll take that off here. Take that back a piece off. Then I'm just going to align this with the bottom and press our window sheet down. And once again, you're going to have half of the adhesive still showing and half of the adhesive just tucking right onto that beautiful window sheet. I think this one might, it might have not needed that extra adhesive, so I'm not going to do it in this bottom part. There we go. So now we've got some trimming to do. We're going to trim off the excess. I'm buying you time. You can do this whenever you want, okay? I'm letting you catch up a little bit. Do that step. Last, 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 if you need to, okay? Let you catch up a little bit. And I always work from the back side when I'm doing this kind of work, just so that I can perfectly align it. Okay, so now we've got our beautiful card. And we're going to attach our fluffy tree. Our fluffy tree comes in two parts. And this one here you can fluff up to your heart's content just by raising these little pieces. And then you're going to be aware when you're putting your dimensionals on the back side here to not adhere one of these little fluffs down. Okay. I'm using the mini dimensionals. These I think are just an essential tool in your little crafter's toolkit. And I'm going to 
gonna stick that on like that, just with two of them. That will hold it very well. And then it goes on to our tree backer here. I love this fluffy tree. I hope that many of you, I know Kim remembers the fluffy tree. We refer to it for the, as a fluffy tree for months after that. But I know she's crafting along at home, calling it the fluffy tree too. Okay, we're gonna use some more dimensionals, but remember, you've got a window sheet here, which is gonna show through any adhesive. So make sure you're putting your adhesive there, 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 right? Not anywhere where it's going to poke through, or peek through, I should say. Okay, a couple more on there, because why not? I love these mini dimensionals. They come with so many in a pack that you can just put on a few, right? Then we've got our fluffy tree over to the side. Isn't that pretty? And then just taking it up a notch, we're going to add in our little saying. I've actually used the coordinating stamp set that goes along with this. So I've used winter woods. The fluffy tree, this bottom piece, actually cuts out this tree image here. But I've used thinking of you this season, which is I think the perfect saying for many people this year. You know, some people are going through a really tough time and um, isn't it nice to be able to say that you're thinking of them. I think that's one of the kindest things. So remember it's going to be peeking through here. So this one I put centered, which maybe is a little bit crowded. Maybe you want to put it over to the side, like my other sample here that I made thinking of you this season. Okay, and then the final finishing touch is to put our frosted and epoxy dots on there. And they are frosted and epoxy. There's two different kinds, and they come with two different sheets in a package. So let me show you the difference here. I've given every single one of you guys one of each of them. So there's the difference. Oh, come on, camera. There we go. So we've got the epoxy, we've got the frosted. And they really do look spectacular in real life, don't they? So using your take your pick tool, you're just going to, oh, that one's really staticky. I'll grab that one in a minute. There we go. And you're going to just put our little epoxy and frosted droplets on there, which just take it up to a whole new level, I think. Isn't that a pretty card? I hope you guys like it. And this kind of a card can be used, um, or card layout can be used in many different ways. So think about how cute this would be, maybe with um, you know, a whale and some fish designer series paper and some fishes you know, coming in on the top and you know, some coming in on the inside. That would look so cool. But really you could use, use this for any different look. And you can do this kind of a card, horizontal or vertical, right? You could have the window sheet kind of like that, or um, going across of your vertical card. So you guys know what I'm trying to say. I'm not doing a good job of saying it. It has nothing to do with my eggnog because I haven't been drinking it. So let's just take a moment here. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Hmm. Ah. Nothing like a little eggnog or coconut nog. It's, I'm doing a half and half mix right now. It's still too sweet, but okay. You guys are still finishing that up. So now I get to show you where these products come from in the catalog. Okay. Let's talk here first, annual catalog. Okay, we've got our Winter Woods stamp set which of course has the framelits which cut out our fluffy tree and our regular tree. But I wanna point out as well, these framelits actually have multiple images of the same thing. So you can stamp a couple of pine cones, a few sprigs, and you can cut them out all at once because there's the pine cones and there's the sprigs. You can also cut out these beautiful trees, little branch, here's our fluffy tree, and this is our base tree, which cuts out our stamped image. So cute, right? And this one is so much more than just holidays. As you know, thinking of you this season can be any season, right? And 
um, trees are any season. And this beautiful swoop, man, that's useful all year round, right? As a ground layer. On page 153, we've got our window sheets. These ones come 12 inches by 12 inches. So um, with just one sheet, you can make 12 of these cards. You can make a lot of these beautiful cards. And then we've also got our frosted and clear epoxy droplets. Those are from our annual catalog too. So they're not retiring this month. So don't worry about the rush to get that. Um, you can still order them. They're not sold out. They're going to be stocked for another um, five months. Then the punch that I used is the timeless label punch here. And that was for the saying that I ended up stamping, thinking of you the season on. And then what did I do here? Oh, these are the dies, in the woods dies that coordinate with that stamp set. Okay, let's talk mini catalog now. And this is actually the only thing on this card which is leaving us. Um, and that's the winter snow embossing folder which did the texture on the white piece of paper there. And that's 50% off right now. Now, um, we do have our final product here, which is a returning product from last year. It's called Feels Like Frost Specialty Designer Series Paper. That's 50% off. And I know everyone's going to want to get one of these when they see the beautiful patterns. So you might have noticed here, like the photographic imagery. What we didn't really talk about are all the different patterns. So these are actually cut down. They normally come six inches by six inches and I cut them down a little bit. So I can show you some of them here. I had them ready to go for another project, but I thought, oh, I should show you. So they've all got frosted elements on them, but these are my favorite sheets here and these are showing them at the full size. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I want to go there. I want to cross country ski there. And here, look at that. We had hoarfrost like this earlier in the week here in Edmonton, and it was just so beautiful. And it actually was kind of dropping off the trees in clumps like this. So I, I've lived in this picture. <laughs> so this is how they normally look. But I also want to say, because the back side of these papers are all silver embossing onto white paper. So we know that anything white can be colored, right? And so I wanted to showcase a fun new product that's coming with something old that's leaving us. And that are these new brushes. They're so cool. When I first saw them, I thought that they were sponge brushes. They are not sponges, they are little bristles. And let's see, I'll show you. Okay. So here you can see the bristles. Oops, I have to bring something else up so that my camera will focus. There we go. Can you guys see that? The little bristles there? They are so soft. You just want to put on your makeup with these or something. Like, I, I don't know, I want to just <laughs> rub them on my cheek. <laughs> and they come in a pack of three. Now, I would recommend getting um, maybe, you know, one pack or two packs so that you can kind of cover all of the colors of the spectrum. And they do say, though, that they um, will rinse clear. So let me show you what I'm working on here. All you do is you take a little bit of ink. I'm using just jade. And let me get in a little bit of scrap paper so I don't get my fancy table dirty here. Okay, so I've got some ink onto that beautiful brush. And I'm going to just start off of the paper. And I'm going to blend, blend, blend it on. And you can do it really subtle or you can really layer on the color. Let me show you what I've got going so far. There we go. Can you guys see that color coming on there? Now last night I was working a little bit more, a little bit longer, and I have this beautiful gradient look. Isn't that pretty? 
you can maybe see it a little bit better, the ombre look. So I have a feeling like these are going to be selling out <laughs> potentially because everyone is obsessed with them. And only demonstrators have them right now, but um, everyone can get their hands on them starting Jul uh, sorry, July. Oh, that's wishful thinking that it's gonna be July in a month, but it's gonna be January in a month. <laughs> Sorry to break it to you guys. <laughs> but in January, on January 6th, you can get your hands on these as well. And I would recommend putting them on your first order just so that you make sure that you're not in the back order status. You're always going to get them, right? You'll get them eventually. But we want to play with them. I want to um, do techniques with you with them. So please, um, just trust me. You're going to love them and make sure that you get them. Now, you might say like, oh, is it similar kind of to like our sponge daubers, which we put on our fingers and then we sponge? The difference is sometimes the sponge dauber, you catch an edge or it just is harder to blend. This one I find really easy. You can use it. It's also great for arthritic hands or anyone who has, you know, dexterity issues. Um, holding it at the base gives you a little bit more bend and more play with it. Holding it up here gives you a little bit more of a direct application. So, and then I've also been told, like I said, that they will rinse clear. So I didn't rinse it from last night, but I'll show you guys a picture of it after I rinse it. And then I'll probably end up doing that tomorrow just because I have to run upstairs to um, help with bedtime tonight after our video. But I want to thank you so much for joining me. Let me just bring in all of our, I've got those ones there. Let's bring in these ones here. We've got these ones here. I hope you've enjoyed making the projects tonight. Or if you're watching the replay, maybe it's the morning, maybe it's the middle of the night. Who knows when you're crafting with me? I'm just so grateful to have you welcome me into your homes and so we can still do this together. It honestly means the world to me. Stampin has been a lifeline for me throughout the last nine months and being able to still be connected with all of you is so important to me and I might tear up here, but I just want you to know how much I love and appreciate the time that we spend together while we're apart. And honestly, um, I hope we can keep doing this in the new year as well. Oh, that also reminds me too, um, I should mention that we have a new round of clubs starting up in January. I run my clubs for six months at a time and the commitment is a minimum $35 purchase each month and that will give you one of each of the, well this was four, but normally it's three. Um, Merry Christmas, you get four projects this month. <laughs> but normally it's three projects and you get them free with a $35 minimum order each month. I also always have an ordering special at $100. And as a club member, so if you sign up for the six months of club and that you're going to be placing orders, you get at least a $20 shopping spree for one of those months. Now, my clubs run a little bit differently. I always factor in your free stuff based on what you spend. So that means that you don't have to, you know, wait until it's your hostess month to order everything that you want. You can order any month, any time, whatever you want. And for your hostess month, I will tally up how much you've ordered and how much you plan to order for the remainder of that um, club period. And for that, you will earn hostess benefits. That means that you can spend, you know, a hundred bucks a month, approximately, get my free gift. And one of those months, you're going to get a $77 shopping spree, 77 bucks and a 50% off item. So if that interests you, it is honestly the best way of doing it so that you can maximize your rewards. I had so many ladies cashing in on those 50% off items and the new baby boss that's coming is available as a 50% off item too. So if you have that on your list, you wanna get it for 50% off, that's the best way of doing it. I would love to have you as a member of club. Again, um, you can choose to just drop in, but you won't get the hostess benefits that way. You won't get that shopping spree of at least $20. Um, I had um, some people getting over $100 for free 
as well, this last rotation. So honestly, it's the best way of doing it so that you don't have to place, you know, a $600 order all at once. You can do that, you know, broken up over a six month period. And whatever you spend over that six month period is going to factor in to your free stuff. So you get free gifts as well. I'm so excited to be able to do this with you. And um, it's actually how I've been running my clubs for many years now. So it works really, really well. And um, I hope that you'll consider joining. If you have questions, just send me a line. Honestly, I would love to tell you a little bit more. I'm going to just put it back to my face here. <laughs> oh, honestly, uh, I just want to give you all a big hug. And I want to say Merry Christmas to you all. Happy Hanukkah. Happy holidays. Whatever you're celebrating, I hope that you have a chance to connect with people, you know, online doing this. And then I hope uh, we get to stand together very soon. Thank you so much for joining me and have a good night, everyone. Bye.